Hello friends, I'm George, the nice manic gentleman. Welcome back to the channel guys, I hope that all of you are doing good. This video is going to be about a very nicely done clone of a famous designer fragrance that's been discontinued for a while now. The original scent comes from the house of Paco Rabanne and it's called One Million Privé. It's quite a famous uh, fragrance in the frag community. And the clone fragrance comes from uh, Paris Corner and their Pandora scents and it's called Milano Privé. Want to get the name of, of the fragrance, the name of the company, the bottle size 100 milliliters, uh, you know, the concentration EDP, some branding on the top, there's a, a logo of authenticity on the back, and on the bottom, there's a production date. Uh, my bottle was made in uh, July of 2022. And when you open up the box and you take the bottle out, this is how the bottle looks. Now, this is one of those rare cases when the uh, you know, the, the clone company didn't outright. Uh, copy the bottle design as well as uh, the scent itself. Uh, this is very different from what you get with the original scent. Uh, you know, the cap is plastic, it's uh, in golden color, it's a snug fit, it's not a problem to pick up the bottle through the cap. The, you know, the bottle has nice heft to it. Oh, you know, this is quite a simple packaging, especially considering that this is a Middle Eastern brand. If you enjoy my videos, guys, if you're a returning, uh, you know, viewer of uh, my videos, but they're not yet subscribed to the channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button. It really means a lot to me and this really motivates me to keep creating more useful content for you. And also don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. Okay, now let's talk about quickly the uh, note breakdown of uh, Milano Privé. The top notes are cinnamon and blood orange, the middle notes are tobacco and myrrh, the base notes are tonka beans and patchouli. I'll show you the spray in action and then I'll talk about uh, the actual uh, scent of this fragrance. The sprayer is uh, a little bit on the weak side and you probably have to overspray a little bit when using this fragrance. Okay, now onto the actual uh, scent of this, uh, of this uh, frag fragrance. Now the opening uh, feels quite light. Uh, I immediately pick up that orange note in the opening. Feels kind of fresh, kind of light uh, with a, a touch of cinnamon somewhere in the background and a slight sweetness uh, from something like maybe an amber note that's not listed uh, you know on the note breakdown of this scent uh, but that lightness uh, you know that cinnamon that light cinnamon note stays uh, there for just uh, like a minute or two once uh, the first few minutes pass uh, that cinnamon note starts to really gain strength uh, and it becomes uh, one of the main players on the you know on the uh, dry down of this fragrance when you start to go into the dry down there is uh, some tobacco that starts to kick in. Uh, I don't remember if tobacco was listed in the note breakdown, but it's definitely there. Although it's a uh, more plays more of a support role, I start to pick up uh, quite a lot of uh, sweetness from the uh, tonka bean. It's sort of this powdery sweetness that you get out of a tonka bean note, uh, and the cinnamon just gets stronger and stronger. Maybe there's a touch of that myrrh as well, uh, you know, on the dry down of this fragrance. But to my nose, uh, the uh, you know the combination the dominating combination uh, on the dry down is between the cinnamon the tonka bean with a touch of the myrrh and the tobacco note oh you know this is uh, quite a sweet uh, and uh, powdery scent especially uh, on the dry down and uh, i'm quite enjoying uh, milano privé but uh, cannot be anything uh, you know different than that simply because uh, i was also a big fan of the original uh, one million privé from paco Rabanne. when it comes to the closeness of milano privé to one million uh, privé now it's been uh, quite a while since uh, i lastly smelled uh, you know one million privé but uh, i can i still vaguely remember how the original uh, scent smells and I think uh, Milano Privé lacks a bit of the punch, it lacks a bit of the sweetness compared to the original scent. Uh, also the original scent had, had this uh, sort of a uh, slight boozy note in it which Milano Privé is missing and also I think Milano Privé is a little bit heavier compared to the original one when it comes to the cinnamon note. But all in all, uh, you know, this will get you quite close. And if you are familiar with the way that uh, One Million Privé smells, uh, you'll immediately pick up what Milano Privé is trying to do. When it comes to the performance, uh, this thing has been a decent performer. I've been getting somewhere between 7 to 8 hours of performance out of this fragrance on my skin with a sort of a moderate projection in the first hour, hour and a half. 
when it comes to the price tag. Uh, again, I'm always quoting the prices that I'm paying for my fragrances and I paid roughly about 22 3 euros uh, to get uh, Milano Privé, which I think is a pretty good deal considering that this thing has uh, a nicely blended scent uh, and it's uh, you know, quite close to a famous designer fragrance that uh, at this point, unfortunately, has been discontinued. When it comes to the versatility of Milano Privé, now the scent profile of this fragrance, in my opinion, is better suited for the colder months of the year. You know, that sweet, uh, spicy, uh, tobacco-y scent uh, profile. But uh, because uh, the opening is quite fresh, uh, you know, you can probably get away with this one using it in uh, the warmer months of the year as well, as long as you don't go too heavy on the sprayer. On to my final thoughts about Milano Privé from Pandora Sense. Now, I'll quickly tell you that uh, I really uh, have been enjoying this fragrance. Uh, this is a nicely done clone of uh, One Million Privé, which unfortunately has been discontinued. Uh, it's not an exact copy, uh, will not get you exactly the same, you know, scent-wise, but still it's close enough, uh, especially considering the fact that uh, the original scent has been discontinued. At this point, it's very hard to find, and uh, if you're looking for a bottle of uh, One Million Privé, you'll probably uh, will end up spending, uh, you know, hundreds of dollars in order to get a full bottle of that fragrance. Now, uh, one thing that I've never said before, but I'm really a big fan of this type of clone fragrances, you know, fragrances that are clone, cloning uh, discontinued scents. I really hope that, uh, you know, more of the clone houses out there do that stuff, you know, and they uh, copy some famous discontinued scents. Maybe someone can come up with a pure Havan clone. I'd really like that. So again, uh, I've been really enjoying Milano Privé uh, and this is uh, one of the only few choices when it comes to 1 million Privé clones. So if you're looking for uh, something that will get you close to 1 million Privé, definitely check out Milano Privé from Pandora Scents. And so guys, in today's video, I showed you a nicely done clone of the, uh, what's unfortunately at this point uh, discon uh, discontinued fragrance uh, from the 1 million line called uh, 1 million Privé. The clone fragrance comes from Pandora Scents and it's called Milano Privé. I hope that you found this video interesting. If you did, give it a like and I also hope that you're going to join me in my next video. And until then, stay safe and bye-bye.